Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I am Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. You know, <laughs> the knitter, the blogger, <laughs> the goddess, the empress of orange, the iconic orange lady, and <laughs> the luminescent. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Confessions of a Yarn Ho. This week we're going to talk about... I had a finished song. Yes, 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 a finished song. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, a finished song. Yes, 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 a finished song. Yes, because I finished. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I finished. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I finished. I, I, I finished. I, I, I. Guys, I love this thing. OMG. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about work in progress. We're going to talk about what I plan to do next. We are going to talk about mail. And that's it. It's going to be short and sweet. Yep, that's it. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with, I got mail, I got mail, y'all know y'all want to see my mail. Don't you want to see my mail, cause I got mail. <laughs> you ready? Okay, so I showed you guys these a while ago from Birdie Parker Designs. Uh, she was in my, I talked about Birdie Parker in my Ryan Cat recap. I talked about Birdie Parker when she first sent me these nails, uh, these nails, these earrings. Because I want to say, if I remember correctly, when I did the post asking folks to introduce themselves is when I discovered her. Because she said that she made jewelry, knitted themed jewelry. And I wasn't sure what that meant and when I looked went to her page I fell in love I saw the heart and she gifted me the heart earrings um I think Lewis was at an event I don't remember what event Brooklyn Boy Knits and she gave it to him and that's how I got it well I'm talking about her again because I don't know if I shared this part but she is my orange twin she loves orange as much as I do I actually wanted to tackle her and take her Doc Martin. She has some beautiful orange Doc Martin. She is so lucky that her foot is bigger than mine because it would have been a different kind of ending untangled. If those was a seven and a half, even an eight, I would have worked it out, put out some extra socks. But I'm talking about her because last week I talked about shawl cuffs, right? Um wispy forgive me i had that short cuff in orange well birdie parker also sent me a short cuff and hers has the stockinette design on it she also has crochet designs in either these cuffs they come in different colors i love it so um i'll post i'll put a picture here uh, showing me wearing it because oh my god did it get cold these last couple days I had to pull out all the knits I, uh, I don't do cold I'm an August baby I don't like the cold so I wanted to show you that they're really cute they come in different 
colors with this part and then different metal if you're interested. But that is the Birdie Parker shawl cuff and I got that in the mail this week and I'm happy. I've already worn it. The other thing I got in the mail is Mason Dixon, the ladies, thank you ladies, sent me the field guide number 13, which is called Masterclass. So this one is designed by Cafe Facet. I hope I'm saying the name right, but this is all about color. This color work is amazing and intimidating and intimidating. You guys know how I feel. I ha I'm looking at this for the first time. So Stranded Striped Cow. That is so pretty, but so scary. Now this big giant shawl stripes, that looks like a stash buster. That looks just like let me get rid of all of my leftovers. Now that's more my speed. I can do that. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Watch my mouth. So there's just a whole bunch. Like I've always liked this. Could you see this in two different shades of orange? But I, it always scares me. I don't know why. I have to look further into the um, the pattern to see what is what's happening here so that's um oh lord it's charts you guys know how i feel about charts Ooh, there's a whole bunch of charts lord jesus yep nope it's a fire <laughs> lord jesus it's a chart nope <laughs> but beautiful so, okay, so I guess the charts are for the stranded stripe patterns is where it looks like all the charts are. But beautiful colors. Um, this reminds me of when I took the color, was it called the color class? I don't remember what the class was called, but it was with Stephen West. And I remember him saying, bring sample yarn. Doesn't necessarily have to match. Doesn't necessarily have to be the same texture. And I was like, not the same texture. Are you crazy? What do you mean it can't match? And he really like opens your eyes to be a little bit more adventurous with color. And this is what it looks like this book is doing. Cause some of these colors, I don't know that I would necessarily have put together, but you gotta be adventurous, right? You gotta try. So that's masterclass. That's field guide number 13 that is out now. And it looks like it has one, two, three, four patterns in it. So that's the field guide number 13. That was male. So let's talk about my FO. You ready? I'm ready. So as you saw on the little intro that I did, I'm done. I'm finished with my braided poncho cape is the full name of it. So... <clears throat> I'll stand so you guys can see. It falls just below the, the girls, the twins, which I like. It fits nicely. I did, I want to say the pattern, the pattern goes up to a 3X, I think. And if I remember correctly, I think there's notes in there for you to go bigger. But I did, I think I stopped somewhere in between the 2x and the 3x or maybe the 1x and the 2x stitch count wise simply because i didn't want it too big but i needed to accommodate for girl room for the girls so i added a few extra stitches but not as many as the next size if that makes sense um fairly simple pattern in my opinion I think I've said to you guys before, I enjoy learning something new. So this folded brim or doubled brim was new for me. I appreciated that. This applied border was new to me. And I'll be honest and say to you, the cast on for that um, 
I got twisted up a couple times. So I took that out and started over quite a few times until I got that right. And it was just, it was saying do it on the left hand needle and cast on it for whatever in my head. I couldn't get it right, but it did take a couple tries for, um, for me to get the border correct. But once I got it, I got it and it was smooth sailing from there. And, um, I think had I had a little more yarn, I may have gone a little longer. I said that initially, but I don't have it here, but I have like a handful, a handful of yarn. I don't know about you guys, but I do not enjoy yarn chicken at all, period, point blank. Don't. I get anxiety. I start sweating. I get nervous. I don't, I don't, that's not fun. So I was getting close to the end. So I started doing the applied border and it worked out because um, had I gone any further in the body, I really would have had an anxiety attack trying to get the border done. So I think I'm going to take that little bit that I have left and see if I can make a uh, um, headband with it. Um, and you guys know that this yarn is from Magpie Fibers. It is a bulky, but this pattern calls for super bulky, so I held two strands together. I had six skeins of the Magpie. Yeah, I had six. So I held them together, and it worked for this. I think the maximum yardage in this is 500 plus yards, and I think I had 600 plus, so it worked out. It worked out. But again... I am pleased. I think it is beginner friendly um, because you just have your increases, your traditional raglan increases until you get it to the size that you need. And then you're just doing stocking it back and forth. Um, it's in the round. So it's, it's very simple in that respect. Um, and I said a little bit of a challenge if there is one is the applied border and not necessarily a challenge more so than I just wasn't reading. I, I wasn't reading the instructions properly. I don't know why I kept, I, I was casting out on the wrong side with the needle. So it was like, it was backwards, but I, I finally got it together. But outside of that guys, I am pleased. So let's talk about the yarn. We know that this was dyed with me in mind. This colorway is called On Purpose. This is my first rodeo with Magpie Fiber. Um, you guys know that I love a, a quick project. I love a bulky yarn. I also love a yarn that is soft, squishy, blooms nicely. Now, I, I must say to you guys, I still have yet to block this. And I don't know that I will wet block it. I will probably steam it simply because I did have to join yarn a little bit in the back. So there's a little bit of bulk in the spaces where I added on the new skein. So I may steam just to get that to lay a little more nicely. Um, it's obvious to me. It may not be obvious to the untrained eye, but you know how we are. Outside of that, it is a wearable piece for this time of year. Like if you're a layer person, you have, you know, a thinner jacket that doesn't have much bulk in it. You can absolutely put this over top of your jacket um, when it doesn't call for, you know, a whole bunch of bulk. Um, a nice crisp fall day, a long sleeve shirt and this, your jeans, your boots, you're good to go. So I am... Please, I can see this getting a lot of wear, a lot of wear. Um, if you are coming to Vogue Knitting, I am uh, a Della's Booth babe once again. I will have this on one of the days. One of the days I will be rocking this. So you'll get to see it up close and personal. But again, this is the braided poncho cape. I'm hesitating because I've been so bad with pattern names lately. But that's the name of it. It's the Braided Poncho Cape by Knititude. Thank you. Thank you, Knititude. This is an awesome pattern. And this yarn is the Bulky Held Double by Magpie Fibers. 
and this is this colorway is uh on purpose so that's my my finish so now let's talk about my whip okay so i still am working on my excuse me cozy happy bobble scarf as a part of the knit collage knit along i am just into the second skein of the yarn and i am happy i'm happy i'm happy i love this texture i love the size of the bobbles and i'm going to insert or share right after this a video that i posted yesterday that everybody is going crazy about because there's uh cables in here but they're just really two stitch cables and the kit if you purchase the kit it comes with the cable needle however because this yarn is so thick i don't use the cable needle i use my thumb and I didn't even really pay it any attention when I posted the video on my stories yesterday. And everybody was like, are you using your finger to cable? Could you slow that down? Can I see that again? And I was like, oh, I didn't realize it was a thing. So I will include the video to show you guys. When I have to pull the stitch forward, I put it on my thumb and put, move it out the way and keep doing it. When I have to move it to the back, I put it on my pointer finger and pull it back and keep going instead of having to put it down grab a um a cable needle blah 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 it's only two stitches so it's not it's not bad now i don't know i absolutely don't think i could do that with smaller yarn but that's the beauty of bulky yarn you know because this and then this this particular yarn you know the when you take the the stitch out it kind of just sits there but i stick my my thumb in it just so i don't lose it and um and then i i i've done it both ways i'll put the stitch back on the needle and then work it or work it right from my thumb so if i have to knit it off my thumb or purl it off my thumb i just did it off my thumb and everybody was just like oh my god oh my god gg i'm like oh okay that's the thing but this is going to be such a dramatic piece guys i am looking forward to finishing this um i will be working on it again today like i said i just got into the second skein and the kit comes with three so i am going to try to put some more inches on her today so I can finish with this short. So I should be finished with this soon enough. Soon enough. Now that I'm not doing two. And I tried. Let me update you. I tried alternating what I was working on. It didn't work. I, I worked more on the one than the other. So I can't really say that I was doing two things at the same time. I did have two works in progress. But I worked on the other one more than I did this one. So now this has all my attention. So again, I'm back at, I don't know how you guys do it because I tend to focus on the one and then go to the other. I, 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 I think I did one day that some part of the day I did one project. I put that down. I picked up the other one, but that was it. So yeah, that's that. It's coming along nicely. I like the bobbles. I like the texture. And this should be, hopefully by next, I don't know, because next weekend I won't be here. So, let me say that now. I'll say it again at the end. There won't be a video on Sunday because I'll be traveling back from Florida. So, um, I don't know that I'll finish this. I might, 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 that might be able to finish before I leave. And see if I can throw it in my bag and work on it on the plane, maybe. We'll see. So that's all for my work in progress. So let's talk about 
next happy saturday evening everybody if you've been following along you know that i am participating in the knit collage and knit along i am working on the happy why do i get this wrong the happy knit bobble nope that's not it i'm gonna tell you in a second i always get this wrong forgive me but I am participating in the knit along. So let me just say that. And I posted this video just to have something to put in my stories. But I've gotten a lot of questions because as you can see, I'm using my thumb to make my cable stitch. And I got so many questions. So I had to come on and let people see that yes in fact I am using my thumb to cable because this is why I love the fat fibers because you can use your thumb so this is a simple cable it's only using two stitches so I use my thumb if I have to pull the stitch to the front and if I have to pull it to the back I will use my forefinger I will sometimes put the stitch back on the needle sometimes I don't I just work it right from my thumb which you can do because that's the beauty of the big and thick yarn so I just wanted to come on here and I figured I would put this here on HG HGIG TV so you guys can see that yes I pull it forward put it on my thumb work the stitch as designed by the pattern and then I just go right back and work it the stitch right from my thumb there's no really reason to put it back on the needle so that's what I do and I got a couple questions about it I, I didn't um I never know what you guys are going to react to so I figured let me put it on IGTV this way it'll stay and you guys can see that yes I am using my thumb to cable and again you can put that stitch back on the needle if that is more comfortable for you or you can work it right from your thumb I've done both I've done both so go big or go home all that stuff works up super quick and I'm loving these big giant bobbles if you are not participating in the knit collage knit along i don't think it's too late to join so i would follow knit collage and get the details from her website outside of that my darlings have a wonderful saturday evening it's just about over here on the east coast on purpose everybody have a good night and as always, thanks for watching. You guys remember this? Do you remember this? This is the Aren't You Glad It's Gigi's Birthday colorway that that damn Della did for me for my birthday. It was exclusive to my birthday party. Thank you again, Adela. So... If you follow Adela, you know that her, this little brown baby doll is hanging on the walls in Amsterdam in Stephen and Penelope's yarn store. And you also know that Adela did a custom exclusive colorway for him. It's like this deep burgundy. It's so pretty. Well, Stephen did a new pattern with that colorway that is absolutely gorgeous. I am horrible with names as of late, so I'm not even going to try to tell you the name of it. I will post a picture of it here, and then I will put the name of the pattern below here on the screen. I'm saying that because I'm going to do that same shawl, but just in my birthday colorway. So I'm going to um, wind this up as soon as I finish with the uh, Nick Collage Knit Along. And then I'm going to join Adela's Knit Along because she's having one in her group to make that shawl. And yeah, I figured I would find a 
colorway by Adela to do it in. And I think this is going to be so pretty in that shawl. So that's coming up next. And I think that's it. So I think, I'm not, not thinking, I'm pretty sure that's it. And I don't really have much in the way of what's on my mind other than the holidays are coming up. Um, and if you're like me and you have more of your family not here than here, it's a little tricky to navigate the holidays. So every year I say, this is gonna be the year that I'm gonna do better and I'm gonna celebrate. I'm going to be my usual self. And so far I have failed tremendously. So I am trying to be a little bit more honest with myself, um, honest with my feelings and honoring my feelings and the holidays will be what they'll be. Um, whichever me shows up is what they're going to get. I. Um, I do a good job at wearing my mask. Um, I feel like my feelings, my grieving, my loss is my burden, not someone else's. So I won't share how I'm feeling. Um, so I say all that to say, check on your strong friends because they do a good job at hiding how they're really doing. Um, they do a good job at putting on that mask and appearing fine when in all actuality they're not. So I know that I'm not okay. I know that I struggle during the holidays. So I try to prepare myself for it as much as I possibly can. Um, I have to remind myself that I'm still here, Shelby's still here, and in fairness, we need to enjoy. I, I know that my family wouldn't want me not to enjoy. So. I'm just being brutally honest and saying that I'm a little bit apprehensive. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to work it out. So if you are like me and you dread the holidays, be honest with yourself. Be okay with those feelings. They're yours. Um, and just be prepared to deal with, because I find folks that don't have intimate death, they don't understand and they feel like you should just push forward that you should just you know nobody wants to see you sad so you should go anyway and I, I that's all true however it's not as simple as that so be easy with yourself um and if you choose to just put your mask on and bear it do that too but you do what you want to do the way you want to do it and vlogmas is almost here are you guys ready so just to give an update there i will be doing vlogmas again and that's where i do a video every day for uh, up until christmas starting december 1st so i'm excited i want to start planning some things i actually saw a pattern for christmas trees that i want to knit so we're gonna have some orange christmas trees going on i also um I think I'm going to have a advent calendar for the first time because I never really understood them, but I'm going to have one. So I'll get to open that up. So I'm looking forward to Vlogmas. So just know that for that time frame, you'll get a daily dose of me every day. It's usually no more than 10 to 15 minutes, if that. But you will get a video every day. I'm tired. I already think about it, but we will. So. That's all I have this week. I want everybody to have a fabulous Sunday. If you are on the East Coast, we're supposed to get brick cold again tomorrow. So make sure that you bundle up. And I will talk to all of you guys next Monday. Monday, don't forget. Because I leave Friday for Florida. I'll be in Fort Pearls for the weekend. I will try to capture as much footage as I can, as I always do. But next week's episode will go up on Monday. Okay? Have a good week. Rest of the month on purpose. <laughs>